Daddy Genie Young is back to show you all how easy it is to make a delicious brown sugar glazed holiday ham. This holiday is right, the holidays right around the corner. You all are looking for that perfect recipe to put on your dinner table. This is the recipe. You gotta have a brown sugar glazed holiday ham on your table. Jeannie Young's gonna show you how to do it. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need. You're gonna need a ham, a nice beautiful ham. This is a shank ham and this is around about six pounds. I've washed it off using a little bit of lime juice, salt and cold water, and then we've pat it dry with a paper towel. You're gonna need some brown sugar. You're gonna need some butter. You will need some mustard, Cairo syrup, or honey. You're gonna need some pineapples and we have some allspice. We have cinnamon, chicken powder, and we have some uh, toothpicks. Make sure your hands are impeccably clean. Let's get started with this amazing holiday ham, Jeannie Young style. So now when I'm gonna make a ham, anytime I'm gonna make a ham, I never get a raw ham. I don't because it would take forever and a day to cook and they can be a little difficult to cook. You're just kind of unsure if it's done or not. So this ham is fully cooked, but you do gotta get it nice and warm and heat it through. So now take a look at this ham. Okay, so now this is not already spiraled. What spiraled means is you ever opened up a ham and it already has the slices pre-sliced for you. That doesn't have this, okay? So we're gonna slice our own ham today. But what we want to do is put some score marks into it. Score marks is going to allow the fat cap that's on top of the ham to kind of, uh, how do I want to put this? It's going to render the fat. What render means is going to cook down that fat and the fat juices is going to um, drip down into the beautiful meat and help to keep the ham nice and juicy during the cooking process. Okay, so we're not going to bake it up this way. Okay, not, you would want to because it's so pretty, but we're gonna bake it this way, I always do. So now let's start some score marks. Make sure you have a nice sharp knife, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do like, um, I don't know if I'd like to say hashtags or crisscross designs, okay? And you just cut through just a little bit so during the process that fat can render and open up a little bit. So we're gonna go this way and then we'll go the other way like a tic-tac-toe board, okay? So let's do that together just like so. It doesn't have to be, you know, like perfect. Just get your marks in there just like so. And you don't have to go super deep into this either, okay? So now when I come back, we'll come back and do this way. Is there anybody in this comment section? Let me know in the comment section below, do you always have to have a ham for your Christmas? I feel like so many people, like it's traditional that for Christmas they have a beautiful ham. And so I wanna show you all how to make this amazing, quick and simple uh, ham that my whole family loves. Like the skin, it gets nice and crispy, it's like, buttery and then it's got that nice hint of the sweetness from the Cairo syrup and the brown sugar it's just lovely and then the inside of the ham always juicy soft and supple and I'm gonna show you how to do it in this video so now we need to go this way with the hashtags or the cuts whatever you like to say okay and I'm gonna go all the way around even on this side Okay, I got my oven preheated on 350 degrees, and we will be covering this with aluminum foil. Always like to cover it with aluminum foil to keep it nice and moist. When I come back, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious brown sugar glaze, Gina Young style. People are gonna ask for this recipe. So I have my ham in a baking dish, it's a roasting pan, and what we're gonna do is we need to put some liquid in the bottom of, of the ham, in, in the bottom of your pan. You have to, to keep it nice and moist. Now, you can decide to use chicken broth if you want to. You can use like, excuse me, Coca-Cola, or you could do like I'm gonna do today and use some pineapple juice. Pineapple juice is gonna be splendid in this recipe, okay? Oh yeah just like so okay you want to put a couple pineapples down there absolutely you can so now for this recipe i'm going to be showing you all how to decorate your pineapple or your ham with the pineapples 
Uh, but you don't have to, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a couple of pineapples down in the bottom of the pan so they can release amazing flavor into our ham. Believe it or not, those flavors release into the liquid and it just feels the broth, this broth that's gonna be down here with a great flavor, okay? And so I have two cans, so I'm gonna use the two cans of juice and that's all the juice that we'll use today. Okay, if you want to mix up um, chicken broth in your pineapple juice, you can do that as well. I've done that several times. So now I've got some chicken powder. Just chicken bouillon powder is all that it is. Okay, so we're gonna put some in there for great flavor. It, it releases a beautiful aroma and such a great taste going all throughout your ham as well. Okay, let's see, just a little bit more and then I'll be happy. Let's see, there we go, beautiful, what a great smell. Okay, so now what we're going to do this, believe it or not, this is going in the oven. Okay, you got to cover it with foil the whole time during the cooking process. But once we begin to um, paint on the brown sugar glaze is when you take the foil off and you leave it off so your uh, skin can do something really great. It's going to render, it's going to get crispy and sweet. That's when you take the foil off, but no worries because during this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Cover it up, get into the oven, 350 degrees. <laughs> Did you <laughs> press ball? Stop. Time to make our glaze. We're going to use a little over a half a stick of butter. You can use less. You can use more if you want, okay? And we're going to get it nice and melty, okay? In the meantime, between time, we got to um, measure out one cup of brown sugar. You can use less if you want to as well. Okay, so we're gonna cook the brown sugar and the stick of butter together and then we'll add some mustard. Now, you can use a Dijon mustard or your favorite mustard. You may like honey mustard. If you're a fan of honey mustard, go ahead and use it. It'll be delicious. Okay, so I kind of packed in that one cup using my hand just like so. And now we're gonna put that in the pan with the brown sugar, okay? And you can put your mustard in now. Um, let's talk about the spices. I always like to use allspice and cinnamon. It's just gonna bring great flavor and it's gonna, uh, like the, the smell in your house is gonna be beautiful. Come on in, let's go ahead and season the brown sugar. As much or as least as you would like to use. You can use a little bit of vanilla extract if you want to. But this k syrup has a vanilla flavor, so I'm not going to use vanilla extract today. There we go. Little bit of allspice. Don't get too wild with the allspice. It can be a little overwhelming. So let's come in and mix the two together real quick. I have my heat like uh, just a little above medium or a little above low. And we want them to to combine. Let me show you how much of the mustard that's needed. It's going to be about a tablespoon and a half. It really gives a nice zing to your uh, recipe. Okay, so we're going to mix that together. And when I come back, I'll show you how much honey or K-roll syrup you're going to need. You can use honey, use the K-roll syrup, both, both is delicious. Look how everything has came together. It smells beautiful, it smells like the holidays. All right, everything's nice and melty and it doesn't look like a plaster. So we're gonna use between one third of a cup and a half a cup. I just kind of eyeball mine because I know exactly how much I wanna use and that's the same amount of the honey that I would use if I was using honey. If you wanted to put a little bit of bourbon in here, you bet you can. Okay, and guess what? turn the burner off your glaze is done how simple if you have a little bit of the uh, pineapple juice or you have some orange juice in your refrigerator you can go ahead and put just a little bit maybe two or three tablespoons in it it kind of really brightens up the sauce here so i wanted to show you all the sauce in the past i have been known to make my sauce and let it just kind of boil on a just a slow boil until it got nice and thick but i realized throughout the many years of making a ham that you don't need to boil it once it melts down it's done we don't want it to get extremely too thick but that's what it looks like and it smells good okay so now let's just say you're the person that wants to cover your ham in the beautiful uh, pineapples and maraschino cherries right you can find the maraschino cherries in the aisle where they sell 
um, the, uh, what's it called? Ice cream toppings, where you can find like the crushed peanuts and stuff. That's where you can find maraschino cherries, and some of them may have a stem. So if you want to decorate your ham, what you would do, I'm just gonna show you like a little tester. If this is your ham, you'll take your um, skewer, which is your little toothpick, and then you'll put it through here, and then you can decorate it, you know, how you want, okay? And you can have beautiful pineapples all over your ham, just like so. How simple, okay? And then if you wanted to put the cherry in the middle, just put it in there. Just make sure that your stick goes through to where your uh, cherry is sticking in the middle. And it's gorgeous. But my family didn't want theirs covered in pineapples and cherries today. So this time we're gonna do that amazing brown sugar glaze. But if you want it to, you can always do that trick. It's like a real wow factor. When you uncover the ham and they see the beautiful pineapples and cherries going all throughout. So now we're gonna cook this ham for about 35 minutes on 350. We're gonna take it out and then we're gonna do our first baste with our beautiful brown sugar glaze. And I'm gonna use this silicone brush here. You can find them at the dollar store anymore. And we're just gonna drag this through the brown sugar glaze. We're gonna baste it all over. And at that time, I, I wanna excuse myself because earlier I said that we're gonna keep the foil on the ham the whole cooking process. We're not. Only time the foil stays on is right now, this 35 minutes. Once we begin to put our glaze on, the foil comes off. But you can save the foil because when the ham is complete and you're just having it setting on your counter, you can cover it up with that same foil. Time to glaze. Let's do it together. I'm super excited. So now you see, remember what I told you that fat will do? It'll open up and render, oh my goodness. Oh, it, the whole house smells amazing. And now we take this here, just like this, right? And we baste it. We, you just, like a paintbrush, take that glaze and put it all in those cracks and nookies that we made. Oh, nooks and cracks and crannies, whatever you want to call it. Just get it in there because it's super duper delicious. And now this goes back into the oven just like so, uncovered, so that this glaze can get crispy. The ham, the, 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 the fat to the ham begins to get nice and crispy and so sweet and just gorgeous, okay? Into the oven we go, and when I come back, we're gonna baste it uh, maybe two more times. Usually I like to baste my ham about three times, just like so. Yum. Before this goes back into the oven, take a look at the pineapples in the bottle. Oh, we and we got even more juice. Juice that has extracted from the ham has mixed with the pineapple juice that we put down there and that chicken powder. Listen here, this is going to be by far one of the best hams you've ever made this holiday. Time to glaze again. Come on in. Ah, ha, ha just like this how super excited oh look at that that's it back into the oven and then we glaze it a third time next time i come back i'm gonna say an amazing prayer you're gonna get that first bite take a look take a look at our beautiful ham i glazed it three times this is what i want your holiday ham to look like this year look at the pineapples in the inside in the bottom and the juice, amazing. So now listen here, don't go nowhere because I'm gonna take this ham out, we're gonna put it on the cutting board, we're gonna slice it so you can see how juicy it is. If you enjoyed this here video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family and friends and everyone you know, tell the whole world what Jeannie Young's doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. I just need you all to take a look one more time. I like, I am so happy. When it looks like this, you know it's gonna taste good. Listen guys, take a look. Oh my goodness. Ho oh, oh. ho. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get ready for a juicy, flavorful ham, Gina Young style. Oh, make you some. One more slice. Ah, yes, beautiful. 
Not sure if I said a prayer. Let's go ahead and say one now. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful meal today. In Jesus Christ's name, Lord, we thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts to make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings and your blessings, the blessings that are yet to come. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Once again to my beautiful prayer. Look, it took it. Let's take a oh. Let's take, let's taste it. Oh my goodness. Oh, can you, can somebody see how juicy? Mm. It is flavorful. Oh, I can taste the pineapple juice. Mm. And the brown sugar. Mm, mm, mm. And as always, God bless. Thank you for watching. Good night.